The round-the-clock effort to find survivors beneath the layers of concrete at Champlain Towers South growing more desperate. 80 rescuers at a time, breaching walls, building trenches through the rubble, searching for any signs of life. The way the building collapsed, leaving some hope that voids or pockets of air could form in the debris, large enough for someone to survive. We have been able to tunnel through the building, um, but, you know, again, this is a frantic search to, uh, to continue to see uh, that hope, that miracle to see who we can bring out of this building alive. For family members, the wait for answers becoming more agonizing by the hour. Valerie Mansur Rover's brother and his wife lived on the seventh floor. Is he in the hospital? Is he in the rubble? We just want to know already. While loved ones wait for closure, others beginning the grieving process. Officials identifying more victims, among them 26-year-old Luis Bermudez and his mother. Nicole Ortiz says her sister and nephew also found among the dead. Because I didn't have the certainty where were they, if they were alive or dead. It's not what I want, but if it's got will, well, now I know that they are okay. As the search strengthens, growing concerns over that 2018 structural report released by the town of Surfside, finding an estimated $9.1 million in repairs were needed due to major structural damage to the concrete below the pole deck of the building, including failed waterproofing. An engineering firm behind the report telling the Washington Post nothing in that 2018 survey, quote, raised a red flag, but the investigation into the collapse could uncover a perfect storm of failures. Meanwhile, growing concerns over Champlain Towers North. It's similar in age and construction to the building that collapsed. The mayor of Surside now urging people to evacuate, but not mandating it. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Miami Beach, Florida.